well, they say go big or go home. So I went to Michael's today and I bought this big canvas. It's a 12 by 36. I just got through running there. I forgot my paintbrush, so I had to run out to the garage. Um, what I want to do is do some gold around the edges here and then I want to do a gold pour in the middle with the black out here and then fan it out this way but leave a gold strip on it so I'm just gonna see how that works I haven't done this before so I'm as new as you are watching this okay so I went ahead and got some flow troll and I strained it because I was having problems with chunks and everything in there and I noticed there were even some chunks straight out of the brand new bottle so if you get some flow troll make sure you strain it properly so I had some leftover in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some in there and then I'm gonna take some of this metallic gold this is old gold it's old gold it's not new it's old Ooh. I'm gonna put a pretty good chunk of that in there because I want this to cover really well I want it to be really shiny and if this flow troll is too much then we're gonna have issues I just don't want it to haze it up too much I'm kind of feeling the pressure on this big one here. Nah. What happens if you screw it up? You just paint over it, right? That's the best thing about this style of painting. And that's why I always say, you know, I hope I can inspire you to do it. Because if I can, you can. Seriously. A lot of this is just experimentation too. Okay, so I think that will work. Get that off my stick there. So, without knocking the paint over, well I guess I'll be good like that. And I'll speed this process up so you don't have to watch it all because it might take a couple of coats here. That still might be way too thin. Yeah. That's way too thin. that coat to go on good let's see what we got here that's better still going to take a couple of coats to really get that on there good and it could be the metallic too let me see something I'll just put it straight on the brush yeah, it's the metallic. It, it's a little bit see-through. So, it leaves a lot of brush marks, so to speak.
Okay, so I got the first coat on and I'm basically going to pause it and come back after I got the second and even third coat on. And then once it's dry, then I'm going to start laying down the tape around the gold so we can get started on the top because I don't want the paint to drip over the edges of the gold. I want to keep that nice and clean. I saved this last piece of tape to show you how to apply it. And you want to pull it a little bit farther out than where the canvas ends. And you want to put the tape on the bottom first. I just said first. Eh? From Canada, eh? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm originally from Kansas. Believe it or not. I probably believe it. Okay, so bottom first. That way this overlaps and whatever runoff will go out. I know my head's in the way of this one camera, but that's okay. And you want that top line to get on there good. Okay. Now, since we got that done, let's put a little of this paint in the middle here. And before we do that, I want to mix a little bit of glue in there. PVA, glue, same thing. This is Elmer's glue, just regular white glue. Why am I putting glue in here? Well, it's just a trick. It's top secret. So if you use it, you're using a top secret method. How about that? Now it really helps level out the paint a lot better. Um, one thing that I'm trying to go for a special effect on here too. So I want to use the glue on there because I wanted to make some webbing. And this is too thick. So I'm going to need some water. And I'm going to set the silicone over here so I don't forget to put it in. I've been known to do that before. Oh, whoops. So what I'm trying to do is get a thin layer over the black layer. And the black layer is going to be a lot heavier than this. There's my paintbrush right there. I couldn't see it. So I want to take some gold and just go out here like that. Not too much. And I just want to get a little bit on there. Just so you don't see through the white. I see a little bit and then I dip in again. 
I always contradict myself if you don't if you haven't noticed that in my other videos and it's kind of hard to follow along if someone contradicts themselves well, sometimes this style of painting you just have to go with the flow literally flow art so that's that's good for that there and in this area and you can tell that's still not dry that's okay the gold isn't dry is what I meant finding a level surface reason why I'm doing this I want the paint to cover really good on there I don't want to have to come back with a spot brush and try and touch stuff up that you don't want to do just a hair more just a touch of water I feel like I'm cooking here just a dash of this and a dash of that I stopped doing my voices as much I'm getting all serious now well I'm wearing a back brace too so if that gives you any inclination. <laughs> okay, perf. I'm gonna add one, two, whoa, okay. That was like plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did a six stir on it because there's a lot in there. Okay, so now I want to get my little palette knife out here and I want to spread out the black on both sides. I'm going to set up a little bit on my knee here so I get this right if I can. I might need a lot more paint. Holy crap. Although I don't want to get it on too thick, but I do want to get it on there. I need one of those big cake things. I know you were thinking that. Because I can read your mind. Oh no, I got paint on me. Oh crap. Look at what I just did. I got it out here in the gold. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's 
So now I'm ready to pour the gold. And it's going to get messy. just a hair let's try this one I forgot to have my rag ready it kind of skipped a little bit Wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but I don't know. It could be cool. It could be cool. So there will be cells that pop up in the gold too. And I thought about even pouring some copper in through there, but I want to see how this looks for sure first. If I had a better swipe tool than this, I'm not really loving this. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try mixing really quick some of this uh, bronze. All right, where should I put her? Some on the sides? For sure. Some in here too. Just some everywhere. Let's try that. Whoa, this is a bit heavy. Let's see if I can pull a little bit off there. Oh, that's kind of cool. a little too much off over there now I've got to make it match I'm not done yet oh yeah this is gonna be the bomb and then I'm just gonna let up at the end Let me not 
do what I did last time and drift over. I'd rather drip it on the carpet instead. And then I'm just gonna light up a little bit. That black really dried So now I need to pour my band across to here. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of paint. It is. Now, Still gotta go down some. There we go. Give that band an organic feel. Awesome. And I think that's going to dry really cool. Okay, here it is. I'm excited about this one. This one turned out really cool. The camera might get a little bit weird because it's gold and cameras see color differently. But I like the... I don't know, it reminds me of like the old French or Italian look, but it got some cool stuff going on down there. The one part that I wish would have stayed is right over here, what looked like a shadow kind of faded in, but there's always something about our paintings, you know that that doesn't work quite like what we expected. I like this down here too. Let me get a good overhead shot. But I'm really surprised it turned out the way it did. I was a little worried there for a second. So that's what it would look like on the wall. It's a pretty big blank wall. I know this one took a while to finish and complete, but you hung in there and I know you can do one too. 
and it will be a super fun project. Here's how many editing cuts it takes to do a YouTube video with a four camera shoot and then upload it. That's a lot of editing, but it's worth it. I apologize about last time. You were home in your pajamas.